हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पीजी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल I was just watching a few surgical videos recorded in the past and uh, this was one video which was uh, which a uh, case I operated 3 years back and uh, it was interesting to see because uh, I think uh, gradually we change our technique little bit so this was uh, with manual marking you can see that uh, the lens I wanted to place probably at 2 degree and Mendes ring doesn't have 2 degree marks they are 5 degrees apart so I marked it in between, and uh, using a iris repositor, thin iris repositor, which is stained, so you can see the marks are pretty accurate. And now I'm using a manual CCC marker, probably six millimeter in size, uh, to give idea. I've mm -hmm. used a 15 degree blade, which I now don't use. I use a MVR instead. The reason is that this 15 degree blade sometimes gives a much larger incision than what I need. and here i can see that 2.8 keratom is used and i am not holding the eye so nowadays i generally try to fix the eye because inadvertently if the patient moves the eye the uh, the incision can become larger so the surgery is being done on topical anesthesia and i am using 2% hpmc here and i'll be using cystitom recently i have shifted from cystitom to capsulexis forceps which is inamura capsulexis forceps and i am liking it though of course as you can see here that i perfectly did a capsulexis using the center of triangle rule which i have devised so you can check the link there which uh, gives you much better control on the capsulexis using cystitom i used the main incision for the capsulexis using cystitom perfectly done hydrotis section there and the nucleus rotates immediately again added some hpmc there nowadays i use uh, more of hyaluronate which is combination of chondroitin and hyaluronate and uh, that gives much better protection and better control on the capsular axis and also much less corneal edema post operatively though of course if you use the right technique and uh, proper energy settings then even with a 2% hpmc we can achieve very clear corneas but i think shifting to heavier dispersive agents make the results more predictable so uh, you i am using constellation machine over here and uh, you can see the irrigation pressure at the beginning is 40 cm and this is what i do uh, with constellation and with centurion we have this ramp iop ramp where the iop rises slowly which is very comfortable for the patient and here i am doing it manually so now the pressure is raising to 90 and i am doing a mechanical chop you can see that uh, i am not using any vacuum you can see those settings on the right hand upper screen and uh, i am using the splitting forceps between the 1 mm sinski which comes from the periphery and the tip of the fake tip which uh, helps in splitting this nucleus into multiple pieces it's mechanical chop and i am using venturi or the vacuum mode of the constellation machine and you can see with just 330 vacuum set there the pieces are emulsified in a very quick succession and very little power is used overall i use just 4 cd throughout the this particular surgery here so properly done mechanical chops uh, i liked it i used a 1 mm sinski there nowadays i have shifted to 1.5 mm sinski because then i can reach even deeper planes and uh, the chopping is much better with 1.5 mm again cortex removal done very quickly with this venturi mode vacuum there are few posterior cortical fibers and yeah i do the same even now just hydrojet or hydropolish of the posterior capsule 
again 2% HPMC. Nowadays I use 1% hyaluronate for injecting the IOL so that after IOL injection I can remove the viscoelastic completely and very quickly. Here I am using a toric IOL you can see using the C cartridge which goes through 2.8 millimeter. Last uh, couple of years I have shifted more to toric IOL so almost 20% of my patients now get uh, toric IOL probably is maybe even more like 25 to 30 percent and that has improved the refractive outcomes quite well so the this is a single piece hydrophobic IL with uh, toric design you can see those toric marks there and uh, with HPMC you have to be thorough in visco wash we can't leave little bit inside because it will lead to little bit of inflammation and raise IOP post operatively so I'll be going underneath the aisle also in the bag and then aspirate out the HPMC as far as possible. But with uh, HPMC as compared to 1% halonate, you always leave behind little bit even if you try to wash out everything there. So that's why I've shifted to cohesive OVD for the aisle insertion nowadays. Nudge the aisle in the perfect axis here. Nowadays I am using markerless Callisto system but even this uh, marks made freehand marking the nitoric android application is used to check it and final marks are made using the Mendes ring gives a perfect alignment and this patient did very well. So fantastic I like the surgery I performed three years back and few changes I have made like I am using MVR instead of 15 degree blade. I am holding the globe while making the incision. I am using hyaluronate for IL injection. Mechanical chops were perfect in this particular case. Thank you for watching. Do watch your videos you have operated long time back. It might give you more insights. Thank you.